little. Oh, Mom! Jenna just kicked me. I only kicked him because he threw food at me. Enough. Can we please have a nice family dinner without the two of you fighting like cats and dogs? We have something we want to tell you guys. Something serious. Are you finally shipping Max off to military school? Because I can be on board with that. Hey, guys, what did Mom say? No more fighting or no summer camping trip. Before I say anything else, I want you both to know that we love you very much. And what I'm about to tell you, it wasn't an easy decision. Oh my God, you always do this. Why just can't jealous you stop it? Stop it. Guys, it out. You You're on on it out. Hey! We are getting a divorce. You guys are... what? We talked about how we were going to handle this. I know. I'm sorry. I just... You do this all the time. What your father was trying to say is that after thinking about this long and hard, we think it's better off for us and for everyone if we aren't married anymore. We have decided that we are going to separate. But you can't. Is that because of us? I promise we'll stop fighting. We'll do anything. It has nothing to do with that. We promise. This is just what we feel is best. How is ripping our family apart what's best? No matter what happens, we will always be a family. We don't have to be together to be that. Families come in all shapes and sizes. Don't we get a say in any of this? Mom and I have thought this through and we have grown apart. We're gonna be better off as friends. But it's not fair. Our lives shouldn't have to be ruined because you guys can't work it out. Max. Max, wait. Honey, it's okay. Go away. I don't want to talk to either of you. It's just me. You okay? I can't believe they're doing this to us. I know. But now that I think about it, they have been fighting for the last few months. Plus, they stopped using those gross nicknames on each other. And Dad started sleeping in the guest room because of Mom snoring. That last one is kind of legit. We share a wall. It's like sleeping next to a jet engine. I just don't get it. We fight all the time. It's not like we have the option of breaking up. We're a family. Isn't being stuck with each other the entire point? When Becky's parents got a divorce, she said they told her they fell out of love. Sounds like that's what's happening to mom and dad. Maybe they should try falling in love again instead of... Wait a sec. That's it. What? If we can make them fall in love again, then boom, the divorce goes away. You're forgetting one teeny tiny problem. You can't force two people to fall in love, you bonehead. Why not? It can't be that hard. People do it all the time. Yeah, maybe in The Sims. Love isn't science with a recipe you can follow. No, you're right. It's not a recipe. It's a strategy. We have to figure out what made them fall in love in the first place and remind them of that. We need to get inside their heads, speak their love languages. What the heck do you know about love languages? I heard about it on Darman's new podcast. Dad is an act of service kind of guy. And mom is more into words of affirmation and gifts.
If we exploit their weaknesses, we have a fighting chance. Our mission won't be easy. It'll require work, preparation, and the hardest part, a truce between us. But if we're victorious, our efforts will be rewarded in the end. What do you say, soldier? Are you with me? Let's get to work. Now get out. Every woman here is beautiful. Write that down. That's good. Hi, delivery. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Somebody told you you'd never find yourself a love, and now you're bitter, so you cut off your head and some of your friends. You're losing another, another again. Oh, wouldn't you know? You're feeling broke now, shattered into a million pieces. It's been weeks and still no progress. Dad's already got his boxes packed to move into that new apartment next weekend. And Mom's setting up lunch dates with some random dude named John Warwick. Don't worry about that. I blocked him. Even so, we gotta speed things up before it's too late. I know, I know, but every campaign has unexpected setbacks. It took Caesar eight years to conquer Gaul. We don't have eight years. We have eight days. What are we gonna do? We've been through those relationship self-help books over a million times. Well, we have two choices. We can surrender and accept the loss. Or we go oh, nuclear. And we use the family camping trip to do it. What do you have in mind? <sighs> You ready? Please. I was born ready. Hey, we're gonna run up to the bathrooms and uh, fill up the water bottles real quick. That's fine, just hurry back. As soon as I get this tent up, we're gonna start dinner. Be careful. They're fine, just let them be. There's bears. Oh, there are not bears here, Carl. We've been over this. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna kill you. Trust me, this has to work.
Wake up! Matthew! Where are you? Jeff! Oh. There are worms. Yes, Ew! There are worms in my tent. Where? Where are you? In my tent. Get up! Wake up! All right, all right. I, I, I'm, I'm getting up. I'm getting up. Ew! Just, okay, okay, okay. I'm up. Go! Stop yelling. No, get, go! I'm up! Ew! Quick, go. let me find them. Can you maybe use the light? Here! Here! Thank you. Zippers. What do you mean? I mean, the zipper is stuck. Let me try. Well, what are you gonna... Now, let me try. Is it stuck? Kids, Jenna, Max, hey, could you please open the tent from out front? Is the zipper stuck? No. Max, this is not funny. I want you to open this tent right now. Not until you and Dad work out whatever it is you need to and get back together. Yeah. Do you want our help? Then you're gonna have to sit and talk out whatever problems you're having. The way you make us do. This isn't funny! You open, open this, this tent! Open this tent right, right now, Max! Jenna! Open this tent! We're not kidding around here, come on! We'll see you Max. two in the morning. Yeah. Have a good night. No! No, 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 Max! Come you, back here right you now, come Jenna! Back here and talk to this us. is not funny! This is not right! This is not how We're you too smart for our own good. Right now. Hey. Wait, I don't think we thought of this plan all the way through. Sleep in the car? Definitely. How the heck did they do this? What, did they smuggle super glue in their bags? <laughs> they are our children. I wouldn't put anything past them at this point. Well, whatever they did, I don't think we're getting out of here tonight. They're taking this a lot harder than I thought they would. Yeah. I didn't think they'd be this upset. Should we have tried harder? For them? I don't know. I mean, we've been fighting so much lately. And I thought we were doing the right thing. And then this. I don't know. I mean, maybe we should wait. It's only a few more years before Max goes off to college. If Max gets into college. <laughs> <laughs> when should we tell them? Rise, Rise and shine, shine sleepyheads. Sleepy heads. Anything you have to say for yourselves? First of all, you're both grounded for this little stunt you pulled last night. With that, we don't appreciate the way you went about doing things. And since the divorce has obviously been so hard on you, we have decided to put things on hold. Wait. So did it work? You're not getting a divorce anymore. No. Yes! <laughs> oh. Oh. I think I still have worms on me! Oh, I need to find a shower! <laughs> believe we pulled this off. We gotta be the first kids in history to make their parents change their mind. Take that, Caesar. <laughs> you know, when you're not annoying, you actually make a pretty good team. Agreed. But have you noticed that Dad's still sleeping in the guest bedroom ever since we got back? Yeah. They both kind of seemed bummed out. Maybe they just need time to adjust. How many times do I have to tell you, don't put the steak knives in the dishwasher? Well, you know, maybe if you would help me with the dishes once in a while or just stop nagging me, I wouldn't. That doesn't even make sense. I wouldn't nag you if you did what I actually asked you to do. I have a lot on my mind. I told you how stressful it is at work. God forbid I should make a mistake and maybe 
Gosh. When I said we should get them back together, this... And you don't think I don't have stress? This wasn't what I had in mind. Almost every day. You don't think that adds to it? I cannot tell you the last time... Seriously, do you? I didn't want to pull my hair out. And the last time I had... Do you think we made a mistake? Was when you and I were talking about getting a divorce. Me too. But we promised that we would stay together for the kids, no matter how miserable it might make us. Stop fighting. Please. We're sorry, kids. We didn't know you were there. Yeah, your mom and I are having a little argument, so why don't you guys go play outside or something? So you can keep arguing? That's all you've been doing since you guys got back together. We're trying. We know how important it is to both you kids that we stay married. We don't want you guys to be miserable for us to be happy. What are you saying? I think we're saying that maybe you guys were right? Yeah. Like you said, families come in all shapes and sizes. Sometimes they can stay the same, but sometimes it may need to change so everyone could be happy. Did our kids just say that we were right about something? Don't get used to it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And if you insist for ruining our lives, Dad, can you at least get an apartment that has a pool and a jacuzzi? <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Yeah, and maybe take it easy on the dating mom. Is this Warwick guy? I don't trust him. You mean my attorney? Who, by the way, I haven't been able to get in touch with for like weeks. Oh, whoops. I can fix that. Huh. Do you know what I think this calls for? A family hug. Oh, Ew, gross. cringe. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. See what you did, Jenna. <laughs> My fault. This is all your fault. My if fault. you hadn't Jenna, this been annoying, you had to stop me. fighting. <laughs> Looks good. Come on. Are you kidding me? Ow! Mom, Jenna just kicked me. Uh, he started it. Sorry, kids. Technically, this trip falls on your dad's weekend. I'm off duty. Max, Jenna, knock it off. <laughs> Families come in all shapes and sizes. But some things never change. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> all right. Dinner is served. Eat up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That was awesome. Don't mess with the best. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Yeah, really good. <laughs> Perfect. You know, I think I like them way better when they were married and miserable. At least the food was edible. <laughs> <laughs> Everything smells so good. Oh, I had to make your favorite pasta. It is your special day after all. Oh, no one's supposed to be here this early. Can you check on that, sweetie? Yeah. Thanks. Dad! Hey! Happy birthday, mijo! <laughs> That's humongous. Can I open it now? Um... Uh, no. You need to wait until everyone gets here. You better go change. You don't have a lot of time. Okay. Hello, Heidi. Rob, you're early. Yeah, well, I wanted to spend extra time with Andy. Is that a problem? It's fine. I'm getting everything ready, so try not to mess anything up. I want everything to be perfect. What? And I don't? Oh, this is so typical. Desde el momento que llego, tú siempre... Can we not argue, please? Put your gift on there. I haven't even been here a minute, and you're already telling me what to do. It's like we're married all over again. Ay, por favor. You're taking sleeping pills, Heidi? Uh, can you not go through my things? I'm having a tough time sleeping, okay? You know those aren't good for you. Ay, please. Mmm, you always did make the best cannolis. Uh, don't even think about it. Oh, come on. 
We just have one. We both know that you'll never stop at one. You'll end up eating them all. Hey, Dad, look at my new pants. Hey, look at that. We're matching. <laughs> so what have you been up to, buddy? Well, if you spent more time with him, you'd know. Andy, honey, tell him about the new Minecraft world you're building. Oh, yeah. I finally made my first custom map. But I need help programming the new command blocks. Well, it's a good thing your dad's a tech entrepreneur. <clears throat> Come on, show me the code. You're the best. Of course. <laughs> All right, everyone, lunch is served. <laughs> this looks delicious. Oh, You always make amazing food, Heidi. I don't know how you do it. Well, 17 years as a chef certainly does help. <laughs> <laughs> um, Andy, honey, since you're the birthday boy, you can go first. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. <laughs> I think someone's knocking. Oh, that's odd. Everyone's here already. Actually, that's for me. I'll get it. Thanks. Yeah. Mijo, look what I got. Minecraft cupcakes, no way. Oh, no, 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 no. You need to have your lunch first, Andy. Finish making your plate. Man, fine. <laughs> what are you doing? I might not be an amazing chef like you, but my company did just make a custom catering app. I figured this was a good chance to test it out. What's the problem? Why are you always trying to one-up me? What do you mean? I spent hours making those cannolis, and now he's probably not gonna even eat them. Well, it's not my fault. He likes my desserts better than yours. Mijo, put one of these in your plate. You can eat it after you're done with your pasta. Thanks, Dad. These look amazing. Of course. Uh, can I have one? Oh, uh, me too? Of course. There's enough for everyone. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. You're gonna have two. Uh, there's a the green one. one. Yeah, you can have a yellow one, a green one. Is what do you want? From Grandma and Grandpa. I got a hundred bucks. Oh, make sure you call them later to thank them. I will. Is this from you, Mom? Mm-hmm. Oh, Minecraft Legos, all right! I had to go to three toy stores just to find that one. I really like it. Thanks, Mom. Of course, honey. All right, all right, come on, open my next. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is amazing! How'd you, I wanted this exact one! Let's just say it was fatherly intuition. <laughs> really, Rob? Fatherly intuition? Well, my assistant may or may have not found it on his Amazon wish list. Oh, she's a lifesaver. I spent so much time looking for my gift, and you just had your assistant get you yours? Work smarter, not harder. Hey, mijo, don't forget to look at the card that comes with it. <gasps> what? Legoland tickets? <laughs> Yep, one for you and one for me. Oh, we're gonna have such a blast next weekend. Next weekend? But he's supposed to be with me next weekend. Oh, I forgot to mention. I have to go out of town at a tech conference on the 15th, so I'm gonna have to switch weekends with you. But I already promised I'd take him to the arcade. Well, then I guess you're gonna have to change your plans for another weekend, right? Oh, I have to change my plans, you have to change your plan. Uh, can I open my next? Just a second, buddy. I'm trying to convince your mother to let you go to Legoland. Oh, no, don't make me sound like the bad guy here, Rob. You're the one changing the weekend. Oh, come on, Heidi. It's his birthday gift. Just let him enjoy it. How about I go with mom to the arcade on Saturday, then I go with dad to Legoland on Sunday? Fine. That works for me. That's fine. Good thinking, Andy. It's like what our teacher said. It's always better to work together than against each other. All right, honey. I'm gonna open the next one. Game over. Oh, I can't beat this level. Oh. It's okay, honey. Just try again. I'm actually kind of hungry. Do you have any snacks? Oh, um, 
You know what? I don't have any cash. Let me run to the car real quick. Did someone say they needed some cash? <laughs> Dad! Hey, buddy. Oh. You're early again. I still have a half hour with him. Is it really that big of a deal? Yes, it is, because you have him all night tonight, all day tomorrow. Let me have my time with him. Oh, all right. I'll go get some coffee or something. I'll be back in 30. Wait, no, Dad, I don't want you to go. Can you actually help me with this level? It's really hard. I remember this game. Yeah, I can help you. You always do this. Taking my time away from him. It's like you do it on purpose. You plan exactly when to get here just to get under my skin so that you can stay, take my time away from it. It's just Take over me. Give me three seconds. You have him 90% of the time. Is it really that big of a deal? Well, if you plan better, you're welcome to see him more. But don't tell me you're- Mom, Dad, can you please stop arguing? Everybody's watching. <clears throat> Game what? I lost again? <sighs> Here, mijo. Go see if you can break this. Can I keep the change? You know what? Yes. Absolutely not. He's never gonna learn the value of money if you keep spoiling him. Give the change back to your dad. <sighs> ah! Thanks for making me look like the bad guy once again. Why, you make yourself look bad. Oh, what are you even doing here? I told you I would drop him off at your place when we were done. I am saving you both time by coming here. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, don't even act like you're doing me any favors. You're just trying to take my son away from me. Well, he's my son too. And for the record, he likes being with me a lot more than with you. That's only because you give him whatever he asks. If it wasn't for that, I bet you he'd rather be with me. Well, why don't we just ask him then? Okay, fine! Okay, fine! Fine! Oh, All right. Andy! Where'd he go? Um, you seen my son? He came here asking for change? Uh, he just walked out with some guy in a hoodie. What guy? I don't know. I didn't have change. He offered to break 100, I think, there at his car. <laughs> Andy! 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 Oh, Andy! No! Hey, where are you going with my son? Your son? What are you talking about, lady? You can't kidnap my son and get away with it. Come on, Andy, let's go. Dad, what's going on? I don't know. Will you just leave us alone, lady, will you? Um, uh, but he looked, I'm so, so, so sorry. Oh. Where could he be? This is all your fault. My fault? You're the one that told him to walk away. Yeah, because you kept trying to argue with me. Well, this is not the time to argue. We need to find Andy. Oh, okay, okay, let's, uh, let's split up and then we can cover more area. You go that way and... Oh, this is not the time to take a work call. It's a blocked number. Maybe he found somebody's phone and is trying to call us. Hello, Andy. Listen carefully because I'm only going to say this once. Who are you? Andy's with us given back under two conditions. One, do not call the police or your son will face the consequences. Two, give us $1 million by 7 p.m. We'll call you later with further instructions. Wait, 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 let me talk to my... Oh my God, where could he be? What are they gonna do with him? We need to call the cops right now. You heard what the person said. I don't want anything happening to Andy. We don't know what this person is capable of. Well, then we have to go to the bank right now. Just, just give me a second. Let me think. <gasps> Call him back. Maybe he'll answer. I can't. It's a blocked number. Well, do something. Aren't you a tech entrepreneur? This is not the time to... Wait, I, I just got an idea. What are you going to do? I'll tell you in the car. Come on, let's go. Vamonos. <sighs> Are you sure this is going to work? A year ago, my company created an app that helps you identify blocked numbers for the police department. Luckily, I still know the source code. All I have to do is... Bingo! Thankfully, he was using an iPhone. Whose house is that? I don't know. But this is where the calls came from. It's only a few blocks away. So now we call the cops. I don't want to risk anything happening to Andy. Let's scope out the house and go from there. Come on. Oh, you don't tell me what to do. I tell you what to do. Let's go. <sighs> that
That's the house. Let's go. Let's go. What do we do now? Knock on the door? No, that's way too dangerous. What if he has a gun? Well, how do we know this is even the guy? I mean, how do we know your programming even works? Oh, he's calling again. See, I told you my program works. How could you sit there and- Answer it. Hello? You have three hours left to send me the money in Bitcoin. I'll text you my wallet ID. Listen here, the only way that I'm going- Or else. Oh, he hung up again. Now well, at least we know it's him. Yeah. But now we need to get inside. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice day. Come on, let's go. I hope she doesn't think we're trying to break in. I mean, that is what we're trying to do. I just wish it was delivering to that house because then we could just- That's it! What? I figured out how we could get inside. All I need to do is get back to my kitchen. Kitchen? You said it yourself. I make the best cannolis. All I need to do is add a little sleeping. Wow. That's actually brilliant. Do you really think he's gonna go for it? If he has your willpower, 100%. Yeah? Um, that'll be fourteen ninety two. What are you talking about? For the food. I didn't order any food. Uh, maybe somebody else. Did. Is anyone else in here? No. I'm sorry, but you must have the wrong address. Oh man, um, that's the second time today. Oh, you can just keep them. No, I'm good. I don't want them. Are you sure? My boss is just gonna throw away the cannolis when I get back. I said no. I... Uh, wait, did you say cannolis? Mm-hmm. With a handmade filling and chocolate chips inside. Mm. Well, if you're just gonna throw them away then... <laughs> <laughs> of course. I guess I might as well take them. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. Enjoy. I can't believe you got him to take them. No one turns down my cannolis. Do you think we should have put more sleeping pills in them? Oh, no. Not unless we're trying to... Oh. I put plenty. Okay. How long do you think we have to wait until he, um, falls asleep? I mean, I take one and I'm out in like 30 minutes. With as much as I put in them, even if he takes just one bite, he'll be out in 15 tops. Oh. You know, when we're not fighting, we actually make a pretty good team. Well, then maybe you should stop making me mad all the time. He's out. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. This one's open. Ladies first.
He kidnapped you too, Max? What are you doing here? We're here to rescue you. Come on, let's go. Uh, what are you guys doing here? How do you get my house? Get back or I will call the cops. Call the cops? I'm the one who should be calling the cops on you guys for breaking and entering. It's okay, Liam. They're Andy's parents. What are you talking about? Uh, you guys know each other? Andy, you need to tell them what's going on. Tell us what? Andy, what's happening? You guys mind giving us a moment? Mom, Dad, I sort of kind of tricked you guys. What do you mean tricked us? I didn't really get kidnapped. I've just been upset about you two fighting all the time. That I asked Max's brother Liam to help me teach you guys a lesson. So all of this was staged. No. Do you have any idea how much trouble you're in, Andy? We were about to call the police! I'm sorry. I just really wish you guys can get along. I didn't know how else to do it. And we get along sometimes. Oh, really? When was the last time? At your birthday party, we... No, not that time. Oh, at your junior baseball game. We... Mm -mm. No, not that time either. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. I guess we really are fighting all the time. The last couple hours is the most we've gotten along probably in months. If not years. I didn't realize our arguing affected you this much, Andy. I hate watching you guys fight or compete over me. I want you to know I love you both the same. I feel so bad now. You were right. It's always better to work together than against each other. I agree. Thank you for letting us see that. Gosh, we're very sorry, Andy. And I'm sorry for tricking you guys. Come here. <laughs> Someone brought us cannolis. No! Don't eat those! I put sleeping pills in them. I'm so sorry. Huh. So that's why Liam went back to sleep. Oh, shit. I feel so bad. They should wear off soon. I, I can bring you fresh baked ones to make up for it. Minus the sleeping pills. <laughs> that sounds like a good deal. Okay. <laughs> oh, sweetie. Oh. <laughs> oh! Did you get everything, honey? I think so. Well, have fun at Legoland. Oh, oh wait, I almost forgot something. Wait here, wait here. I have to say, we raised a very good kid. Yeah, well, he is my son after all. Hey. Just kidding. <laughs> Are you sure you need that? You got a tablet at my place. I know, I just wanted to show you guys something. A Legoland ticket? But your dad already bought two tickets. This is the third one for you, Mom. I used Grandma and Grandpa's birthday money to oh. buy it for you. That was so nice of you, honey. But I can't go. I can't get in the way of you and your dad's special day. Actually, you wouldn't be. I think it'd be a lot more fun if you came. Are you sure? Yep. That was a very good idea, Andy. So what do you say? I guess we're all going to Legoland, yes! <laughs> uh, no. I... I won't do it at Legoland, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Vámonos! <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I just love eating the same thing five times a week, Erica. I only make pasta for you because I thought it was your favorite. Yeah. You've never complained before. Yeah, well, it's getting old. I can make you something else if you like. No, it's fine. It's fine. 
Well, maybe we could go out to dinner. You and me, like the old days. Drew. What? I was just saying you should take me out to dinner. If you were listening to me instead of liking some girl's photo. If you look like her, then maybe I'll take you out. And what's that supposed to mean? Why would I want to take you out when you look like that all the time? So I'm supposed to dress up to cook and clean. I just got off work. Maybe if you gave me a reason, I would dress up. No, Eve, we don't throw food, okay? You want mommy to feed you? I want daddy to feed me. Even if I wanted to go out, it's not like we can. We both decided to have a kid, True. And if you plan ahead, we can get mom to babysit. We can go out for New Year's. Please. I'd rather eat the spaghetti every day for an entire year than ask your mom for help. If we had a nanny like I've been telling you, then we actually have a life. Instead of this same old routine day after day. Now, how are we supposed to afford a nanny? Hmm? And even if we could, do you really want a nanny to raise our little girl? And what are you going to do when she starts calling a nanny instead of you? I hope that happens. That way I could finally get a break. I can't do this right now. I don't know how I'm going to survive a whole another year living like this. Feed me. Daddy's busy, baby. All right, let's show today's lottery number. Let mommy teach you, okay? Start. Good luck, everybody. <sighs> and coming up next, we have weather. Oof. Yo, check this out. I wish my wife looked like this. Don't you wish yours did, too? I love my wife. I don't really think about other women. <sighs> Come on. You telling me if a girl like that wanted to go on a date with you, you say no. I would. You know, you might think that the grass is greener on the other side, but that's not always the case. <laughs> yes, it is. Because the grass on my side is dead. Like Erica completely let herself go after we had Eve. And she looks nothing like she used to. Well, maybe you should try watering the grass. I'm serious. When is the last time that you actually took your wife out on a date? Brought her flowers, took her to a movie? I think if you put in a little bit of effort, things would change. If she looked like this, I would love to take Erica out. Shoot, I'd take her out every day. Okay, well then why don't you go ahead and get a divorce and date her instead? You think I wouldn't have done already if I could? Girls like this only go out with guys with money, drive Ferraris and live in mansions. Not broke bombs like me. And that's the kind of woman that you want to be with? The one that's only in it for the money? <laughs> you know what they say, not everything that glitters turns out to be gold. Well. She clearly looks like gold to me. Happy early New Year. Yeah, well, I hope next year is really happy, because this year has been horrible. Well, there's one thing you can do to turn things around. No one won last night. Jackpot's up to seven million. Hmm. Seven million. No, thanks, we're okay. Are you sure? Be a brand new life. What the heck, let's do it. What? I'll take you out to dinner if I win. You should be taking your wife out. Eve, quiet down. Can you read me a book, Daddy? Not now, I'm busy. You never make any time for her. And you never stop nagging. Once upon a time, everyone lived happily ever after. The end. You didn't have to do that. Don't start with me. Why are you so grumpy all the time? Huh? Did you even notice I made you something new? I swear, you don't even have
appreciate anything that I do for you. Appreciate what? Eating the same thing five out of seven days a week? This food's not even good. Appreciate it. I come in after a long day's work. Hearing you nagging, my daughter crying, you... And you looking like that. Good. Leave. I'm trying to watch this. Here are today's numbers. Four, 37, 12. No way. 23. What? 18. You gotta be kidding me. And 41. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh my god. I can't believe this. No. Oh. What? What? What's going on? I won. That's what happened. I can't believe it. Seven million dollars. Oh, <gasps> no, wait. No. What? You say, you say, we won seven million dollars. Oh, well, we. <laughs> what do you mean, we? No, no, no. Me. I just won, not you. Oh, true. <laughs> what are you? This is, what? I don't have to live like this anymore. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> what? Drew, where are you going? Start a new life. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Like all my dreams are about to come true in 2023. Oh man, I'm so happy for you. And to think I tried to talk you out of buying that ticket. How does Erica feel about all this? Uh, clearly, not happy. Come on, Jake. I don't need her anymore. I have money, and that's why I've hired. A divorce attorney? Come on, man, how can you do this? Well, Erica hasn't done anything to you. Yeah, well, she hasn't done anything for me either. I could finally find someone better. How can you say that after Erica's been there for you through thick and thin? Well, lately, she's been more thick than thin, if you know what I mean. Next. I just can't believe what you're saying, man. Happy New Year. Uh, I would like to make a withdrawal from my new account. And can you tell me the balance, please? Sure. What about your daughter? Uh, she'll get over it. <laughs> what? I'll have her stay with me from time to time? Especially now, I could finally hire nannies to watch her. And with all the new toys you have, the last thing she'll be worried about is having me around. Here you go. <sighs> have you seen such a big number in your life? Gosh, you are making a huge mistake, man. There's a reason that most lotto winners end up depressed. Well, uh, if I'm ever feeling down and out, I can always check my bank balance and I'll lift me right back up again. I would like to take out 10 grand. You know, some pocket change for the weekend. Drew is excited to start his new life as a millionaire. Within a short time, he separates from his wife and files for divorce. Now that he's rich and single, he decides to buy himself a brand new mansion with a new Ferrari to go along with it. After he moves into his new place, he hires a personal chef to make him everything he wants so he no longer has to eat the same thing every day. He even gets a nanny to take care of his daughter. When Eve seems sad, he just spoils her with gifts to keep her distracted while he goes out and enjoys his new life of luxury. It doesn't take Drew long to even land the girl of his dreams. Everything seems to be falling into place. Once she sees how rich he is, she really starts to like him. Drew's living the life he always dreamed of. Little did he know, Fancy. things were about to come crashing down. Thank you. So, I was thinking we should go on vacation next week. I've never been to Europe. Have you? Uh, hello? Sorry, what did you say? Nothing. It's not important. I'll be right back. I gotta go to the ladies' room.
I left my... What do you think you're doing? Me? What are you doing talking to all these guys? Especially when we're on a date. So? Don't act like I'm the only girl you're talking to? Actually, you are. Oh. Okay. Well... I don't know what to say. Sorry, I gotta take this. Walter, hi! No, I'm not busy at all. I was just out with a friend. What are you doing? And here is the pasta you ordered. Bon appetit. You're home early. Oh, yeah. Well, my date was shorter than expected. You go home now if you like. Okay. Good night, Eve. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't want you to leave. Oh, no, it's okay, sweetie. I can put you to sleep. Thank you, Josie. Great. Well, I hope you have more fun than Daddy did tonight. I want a bedtime story. Sure, no problem. All right. Once upon a time... I I'm don't want you to read it. I don't want Josie to read it to me. Or Mommy. Well, Mommy's not here right now, and Josie had to go home back to her family. So, Daddy's gonna read to you. But I want Josie! I saw your car outside. I know you're in there. Can we talk for a minute, please? Erica! What do you want? Erica, I messed up real bad. I thought I had everything that I wanted, but I didn't understand that I already had everything that I needed. To be honest, I miss you. I miss our daughter. <laughs> I even miss your cooking. So please give me one more chance. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Come on. Look, I know I've always been so miserable and after experiencing everything, I, I promise I'll be a lot happier. That's the problem, Drew. Everything is always about you and your happiness. Never mind. Did you ever think to ask, how am I doing? How I felt? Since you never asked, I'll tell you. You see, I've been working 50 hour weeks at a minimum wage job where my boss doesn't even appreciate me. Then I come home, take care of Eve, clean the house and cook dinner for you. Even though I am so tired and stressed out, I always put on my best smile for you. Yet, you don't even care to ask me how my day was. Then, when you left, I was devastated. I thought my life was over. But after thinking about it, I realize I don't need you to make me happy. I'm perfectly fine on my own and with my daughter. So you see, just because you complained all the time, it doesn't mean I was miserable too. I just never showed it because I wanted to be there for you. I'm sorry, Erica. Erica. Please, just give me one more chance. I thought about all the things that, that I didn't have, that I forgot to be grateful for the things that I did have. And I realize now that not everything that glitters turns out to be gold. It's too late, Drew. 
It's over now. Please, please, please. Can I at least say goodbye to your face before I go? Please. Wow. You look beautiful. Why are you all dressed up? Well, because... Hey, Rick. Sorry, this is my ex-husband. No, no problem. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Heard a lot about you. Yeah. You look absolutely stunning. <laughs> You're so sweet. Oh. I love roses. Thank you. Shall we? Absolutely. Let's go. <sighs> Wait, wait, wait. But I've got way more money than him. Well, maybe. But you don't have more money than me. Oh, well, Rick here is an attorney. And he reminded me that California is a community property state. So, half of those winnings are actually mine. I'd slow down on the spending if I were you. My attorney will be in touch with you soon. Take care, Drew. I want a yayna! Oh, that is because you always cheat. Just like your father. Look what you have trained our son to do. Hello, Earth to Todd. What? What are we talking about? Talking about how you trained our son to cheat. You're just mad that you never win, Mom. I'm going to get a different board game. <laughs> hey, is everything okay? Been pretty quiet the last few days. Yeah, no, I'm fine. I, I just, um, I need to talk to you about something. Important. Okay. What's up? Um, I don't, I don't. I don't really know how to say this, but um, uh, I just found out. You want to get the door? I'm gonna use the bathroom. Yeah. Okay. Hi. What are you doing here? Got the proof that you asked me for. You're 100% match, Todd. I know this is stressful. Of course this is stressful. You have no idea what I'm going through right now. Dad! Dad! Look, you have to go. My wife and my son are inside right now. No, we need to talk about this right now. There's something that I need, okay? So I'm not leaving. I can't talk right now. I can't. You have to go. Okay, look. I'll meet you at the bullseye in an hour. And we can talk about everything then. Okay. Well, who was it? Oh, um, it was, uh, Girl Scouts. I was gonna buy you some cookies, but they were all out of the Thin Mints. Oh, man. They always go so fast. So fast. Can we play now? Unfortunately, buddy, I gotta go to the Sky Rose Mall, so I can. I gotta pick something up. Ooh, I wanna go with you. I heard they opened a new Lululemon store. I need to check it out. Uh, no, uh, no, I, I, I mean, I'm actually picking up a surprise thing for you, so you cannot go, unfortunately. Oh, surprise? I like the sound of that. Well, at least take Bobby with you. He needs to get out of the house. Yes, please, Dad, please, please. Okay, please. okay, bud, go get your coat, and I'll be in the car outside, all right? Um, do you need anything? No, I'm just happy not to have to play another board game. It's so stressful. 
You know how much I hate when people cheat. Mm. Yeah. All right, bud. Why don't you go in there, get a video game, and I'll be right out here, okay? But why are you going to come with... How about this? You stop asking questions, and you can get any video game you'd like. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Go nuts. Okay. All right, take your time. He showed up. Yeah, well, it's not like I had a choice. I mean, you know, you had to meet today. What is she doing here? I thought that you were gonna come alone. I didn't have anyone to watch her, okay? Plus, I think you should meet her. Hi. Bella, this is... I'm Todd. I'm friends with your mom. Mom, can I go look at the toys? Sure, honey. But we can't buy anything, so come right back, okay? We've got to tell her eventually. Well, today is not the day, because I'm still trying to process this myself. So what is it? Need money? Not exactly. I... I need you to take Bella for a while. We're losing our apartment. I can't have her living on the streets. Are you kidding me? I can't take her. You're her father, Todd. Not by choice. You think that I chose to be a single mom? Or for any of this? This isn't how I imagined my life to be either. But Bella is here, and I would not change that for the world. I know this sucks, and you just want it to all go away. But do you want your daughter living on the streets? Kids shouldn't have to suffer for their parents' choices. How much is your rent? It's 900 and I really don't want to accept money from you. I just, if you can watch her for a while, it... I don't have enough cash. Look, I can wire you, you know, a couple months' rent, you know, and then you can go to the bank on Monday. I won't work. Monday's the eviction, so it'll be too late. What do you want me to do? Well, like I said, you can take her, and then that way I can just... No! <sighs> Look, I can write you a check, okay? But this is just an insurance policy, okay? So you know that I'm good for it. But whatever you do, do not cash this. <sighs> All right. Then you can pick. I'll be there with the money on Monday. All right. Thanks. I really feel bad even accepting this from you. But I've got to do what's best for Bella. For our daughter. Whose daughter? So what I'm trying to say is... I have a sister, but she has a different mom. Yeah. And she's your half-sister. Her name's Bella. Look, but I know that this is a lot to take in. So does mom know? I love your hair like this. Ooh, check it. I'm gonna have to turn tonight. Mm, Just go ahead. I'm hungry. Oh, sweetheart. Well, <clears throat> we barely have enough money for the bus fare, baby. Can you please just wait till we get home? But I'm hungry now. I can't wait anymore. Okay, okay, okay. Come here. What I'm trying to say is, I'm going to tell your mom. But don't you always say to me that it's bad for us to keep secrets from each other? Yes, that's true. 
but I'm not keeping any secrets right now. I just need a little bit more time, right? So if you could, don't say anything about Bella or Jada, anything that happened. Who's Jada? Olivia. Um, hey, champ. You think you can give me a minute? So Jada... Don't even try to lie to me. I just got off the phone with the bank. Somebody named Jada just tried to cash a check for $1,800? She said you gave it to her today. Honey, I know how this looks. But it's not what you think. I just overheard your conversation with Bobby. You have a daughter? that you never told me about? And you're trying to get our son to lie to me about it? You are unbelievable. I know, I know. I was trying to tell you that this morning, I just needed more information. Look, I didn't want to hurt you. You didn't want to hurt me? Instead, you lie to me, you sneak around behind my back, and you keep the biggest secret from me that we have ever had? Olivia, give me a chance to explain. There is nothing left to say. Get out. Are you serious? Get out, Todd. Just give me a chance to explain. Just go. It's her, isn't it? Of course it is. You are such a liar. Out now. <laughs> hey, Mom, can I have some more cereal? Yes, baby. You can have as much as you want. Can I help you? Um, y you must be Jada. I'm Todd's wife. Bella, can you go finish your cereal in our room, babe? Okay. Thank you. Come in, sorry. Uh, have a seat. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. <sighs> She's a lot older than I thought she'd be. I'm so sorry for all of this. I know it's a lot. It is a lot. I feel blindsided and embarrassed. I'm married to someone who's been hiding this from me for years. Years? Well, yeah, I mean, she must be 11 or 12 years old. Can't believe him. You're right, she is 11. But Todd hasn't been lying to you. Let me tell you what happened. You see, a long time ago, I met Todd at a party. We talked and immediately hit it off. From there, things just moved really fast. Too fast. We dated for a little while, but it didn't work out. So we ended up breaking up. And then a few months later, I found out I was pregnant. I was gonna reach out to Todd. 
just to let him know, but he wasn't a part of my life anymore. So I decided not to. And for a long time, I raised my girl all on my own. And it wasn't easy, but I managed. When things got really hard, that's when I lost my job. I couldn't even afford groceries and I fell behind on all of my bills. It got to the point where I was about to lose my apartment. As a mom, I don't mind struggling. But the thought of my little girl living on the street, oh, that's too much for me to handle. So I did the last thing that I wanted to do. I reached out to Todd for help. So you see, I didn't want to interfere in you guys' lives. Trust me, I am not the type of person who wants to ask for help. It's just that all this just happened a few days ago. Todd didn't know anything until recently. What did he say when you told him? He asked for proof that she was his kid first, which I showed him yesterday. And he still didn't want to be involved. So I told him that kids shouldn't have to suffer for their parents' choices. Then he gave in. Mom, I just wanted to tell you, even if we get kicked out of our apartment, it's going to be OK, as long as we're still together. Baby, we don't have to leave anymore. This nice lady and her husband, they helped us. Hey, Jim! <laughs> hey, look, thanks for inviting me over. Look, I understand you're upset. And... Uh, it's totally understandable, but... What are they doing? Why, what's going on? I, um... I invited them over. After I kicked you out, I... went and visited Jada. And she told me everything including how you just found out about Bella, which is no excuse for why you didn't tell me right away the moment you knew. Oh, you're right. You are right, I... I just needed proof. You know, and I was trying to find a way to, like, to let you know, and I... It's not an excuse, and I'm sorry. I know this was a lot for you to take in. But... Kids shouldn't have to suffer because of their parents' choices. So, I have decided... I want Bella in our lives. I love you, honey. <laughs> Hi, Bella. It's really nice to meet you. Um... I'm, uh... I'm your dad. It's nice to meet you, too. Dad. <laughs> you know, funny enough, um, we always wanted a daughter, and uh, i tell you, I'm gonna be the best dad that I can. He's a really good dad, What? He isn't keeping secrets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we're just gonna get out of your hair. We don't want to take up too much more of your time. Wait, oh. wait but at least stay for dinner. Yes! Oh, we can't play... Board games? Do you know how to play Monopoly? Yes, I love the game. Can you please, Mom? Please, 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 please. Sure, honey, we can stay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I must warn you, she cheats. <gasps> I heard that. Bobby does the exact same thing. <laughs> wow. Well, you two are definitely siblings. <laughs> Come on. It's like every week. Seriously, Lisa? Do you want me to make you something else? No, I enjoy eating the same thing two days in a row. 
Don't forget we have to pay Bruce's wrestling dues. You know, sometimes I wonder why I even do this. Work all day and for what? Huh? Leftovers and all my money just goes to you guys. <laughs> Give me another. Thanks for the likes. Wow, I can't believe we have 15 people watching right now. That's more than I've ever had. Honey, eat your food. Oh, okay, Mom. Um, Emma from the Philippines, thanks for the like. You're blocking the game. You don't have to be so rude. Next time, just get your own beer. Get my own beer? Yeah. Oh, you give me a beer. from That's India a said... I just got you a beer. What yes. is with so all the yelling in the background? So just be quiet about it. I'm trying to get everything together here, okay? I'm doing my best. Guys, can you keep it down? I'm live streaming. Sorry. I work hard all day, and she won't even let me watch the game in peace. You think I don't work hard? I literally work all day, oh and then I Oh my God, work. you make minimum wage, all right? I provide for this family. And how do you repay me? <laughs> Watch the game in the room. <sighs> you. You know what you're doing on that stupid phone? Thinking to do nothing for you anyway. Finish your dinner. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm going to end the live. But I'll be back tomorrow. You okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm at school right now. Hey, Maddie, welcome. Guys, this is insane. We now have 18 people watching. What? <laughs> okay, um, there's this girl, Ashley, that I really like, and I, I think I'm gonna go talk to her. <clears throat> Hey, Ashley, I was wondering if I'm you... I'm sorry, Bruce, I'm late for class. Well, that didn't go too well. Look, maybe, maybe one day she'll see that I'm cool and that I... Hey, hey, watch, where you going? Sorry, Jeremy, I didn't see you. Oh, this guy's live again, that's what's going on. <laughs> what a weirdo. Well, hey, let me see that. Hey, dude! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Bro only has 18 people watch. Bro, what a loser, man. You're never gonna get big online with numbers like that, my guy. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> One day I'm gonna have my own businesses. I'm gonna have lots of girls trying to hang out with me and have all these people come into my meet and greets. Just watch. Bro, you don't even have any friends in real life. How do you expect to have any online? <laughs> I mean, for real, man. <laughs> Dude, they're not called friends. They're called followers. And you would know if you had any. Ooh. Now give me my phone back. What's your phone back? Go fetch. Hey, hey, dude. listen to me. You're never gonna have any friends. You're never gonna be able to get any girls, and you're just always gonna be a weirdo. Capiche? Yeah, later, loser. Look at this guy. Hey, Mary, uh, look, I don't know if you're doing anything this weekend, but we could... Okay. Oh, wow. I did not realize we were still live. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Had a little technical difficulty there. 19 people now? What? Insane. Hey, Max. How's it going? Mom? Everything okay? Hey, how was school? Um, I was the same as every day. Why are you crying? I'm sorry. It's, it's your father. He's leaving again. <laughs> Dad, where are you going? Sorry, kid, but I'm leaving. Well, when are you coming back? I'm not, okay? Look, I tried my best, all right? But enough is enough. I can't do it anymore, okay? So I'm done. It's time for good. No, don't go. Please. Look, I am tired of being broke all the time, okay? All I do is work. 
And what do I get out of it? Just get you yapping at me all day. Can't do it anymore. Look, kid. Before I leave, I just want to say, get off the phone, all right? You're not going to get anywhere with it. You're never going to make money with it. You're the man of the house now. It's time for you to start acting like it. Get a real job. Yep. Honey, it's going to be okay. No, I know, Mom. You don't have to tell me that. I know everything's going to be okay. Honestly, I think it's for the best. Well, I hate the way that he treated you. It's like he's always just running out and then coming back again, and then you have to take him back when he does. Like, yeah, I think it's for the best. I want you to listen to me, okay? Whatever your father said, don't let him get to you. You can be anything that you want to be in life, as long as you work hard for it. You want to be an astronaut? Go be an astronaut. You want to be a doctor, or a lawyer, or an engineer? I have 100% faith in you. Bruce, you want to be internet famous? Then I have no doubt that you will be one of the most followed people in the world. You can do anything you set your mind to, okay? <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? You don't believe me? No, no, it's not that. It's just, um... Okay, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but... My whole life, besides you, no one has believed in me. Dad hasn't. Kids at school haven't. Even my teachers haven't. No one has. But for some reason, deep down in my heart, I always believed in myself. I know that I meant to be something. So, no matter what, I'm not gonna give up, okay? You don't have to worry about that. boy. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. But you do have to make me one promise. When things blow up for me, or for us, and we're not stuck in this tiny little apartment, and we're living in a big mansion somewhere, I'm sure that dad is gonna try and come back into our life. But no matter what, you can't let him. It's like what they say. If someone doesn't want to be with you at your worst, then they don't deserve to be with you at your best. All right? You got it. Now, you want to do me a favor? Sure. <laughs> do you want to be in my live? Oh. What? Look at me. <sighs> How do I look? Great. Yeah, you're a liar. It's perfect. Let's go. Camera ready. You gotta tell me what to say though, because I get really nervous. Okay, yeah. Despite all of his hardships, Bruce keeps on streaming and never lets anyone discourage him. When he's at school, kids make fun of him. Even his own teachers tell him he's never gonna amount to anything. But no matter what others say, he refuses to believe them. He keeps putting in the hours and over time, more and more people start watching his stream. Eventually his popularity explodes. He goes from you now to TikTok. He gains millions of followers and gets recognized everywhere he goes. Things were on the up and up for Bruce. And then one day, he's in for a big surprise. Hey Bruce, I'm, I'm such a big fan. Can I get a picture? For sure. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Mom. Hey, um, I got a surprise for you. Hey, Bruce. Remember Jeremy. What are you doing here? I heard you're having a meet and greet. 
surprised you heard about this. I didn't realize you followed me. Oh, no, 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 I, 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 I don't. My girlfriend does, so. Oh my gosh, you don't understand. I, I love you. Do you think I could get a picture? Yeah, of course. Babe, do you mind taking my pic? Yeah. Say cheese. Cheese. I'm never gonna forget this. Uh, hey man, can you do me a favor? Um, you mind taking a pic with me too? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, sweet, thanks. All right, thanks, man. Catch you later. <laughs> See ya. Sorry, ladies. Uh, I'm just gonna take a quick break. I'll be right back. Okay. Hey, let me show you something. Here we go. Okay. So, do you remember how I was telling you that one day we'd be living in a mansion? Yeah. Well. I got a new house for us. What? No, you didn't, <laughs> yeah. Bruce! Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe this. I appreciate you always believing in me. And I know we went through a lot growing up. And... Who is it? It's your father. I haven't heard from him in years. Hello? Lisa! Hi! in a long time, huh? Anyways, look, I've seen Bruce's name everywhere. And this social media thing has really paid off for him, huh? Mm-hmm. So, what do you want? You know, I've just been, been thinking about you and me and, well, I just miss all the good times. And I was wondering if maybe uh, you'd like to get back together again. Give it a chance. You want to get back together with me? After you walked out on us? <laughs> I don't think so. Ugh, you! Look, you know, just give me to Bruce, all right? I don't have his number, and I need to get some money from him. Like, it's the least he could do after all I've done for him, all right? Give it to me, I'll tell him. No, I got it. As my son once told me, if someone doesn't want to be with you at your worst, then they don't deserve to be with you at your best. Hey, bye! <laughs> What did you get for number one? 35 centimeters. Oh, wait, we're on the wrong page. What did you get for number 20? Ah! Uh... Fire the wall! Oh my god, my hair! Noah! What's going on in here? Noah, what are you doing? You know you're not supposed to have water guns in the house. Kevin and I are playing army. We had to defeat our enemies. We're not your enemies, you psycho. Actually, I take that back. You're gonna pay for that! Noah, stop. You're the one who started this whole mess. If you and Kev had just left the girls alone, this wouldn't have happened. Besides, aren't you supposed to be studying for your science exams? It's not till next week. Considering your grades, I think you should take advantage of the extra time. You should have Sophie help you study. She's a straight A student. I'd rather take a million tests than study with the queen of nerds over here. Like you'd get an A if your life depended on it. Come on, Kev. Let's leave these dorks to their books and play in my room. I am so sorry about that. You girls all right? Can I get you anything? Uh, a towel to dry off? We're fine. Uh, thanks. I still can't believe your mom is dating Noah's dad. He's nice. But Noah, I don't know how much longer I can take living with him. He's like that all the time. It's a nightmare. Well, coming from someone with four older brothers, take it from me when I say, don't get mad, get even. Can you pass this off? Sorry about that, Noah. 
So, uh, I'm happy we could all sit down together because... I want to salt. Oh, so could you go get up and refill the salt? Why do I have to? So, please. As I was saying, there's something we want to tell you. Now that we've all been living under one big happy roof <laughs> for a while now, uh, David and I have been talking and we've decided- Noah, don't be rude. God, this isn't salt. This is sugar. She's trying to poison me. I'm sure that it was an accident. Okay? Let's all just take a breather. We're trying to tell you something. As we were saying, we've decided to get married. Surprise! You want to get married? Uh-huh. You can't be serious. Believe me, I wish I wasn't. But that would make Noah, my stepbrother. What a joke. Sophie Skelton, my stepsister? It's like my dad's trying to ruin my life. I mean, Sophie's not that bad. Not that bad. She's a total square. I can't be related to her. Why did my mom have to choose his dad out of all people? I'm telling you, I'm never falling in love. It ruins everything. Let's go. Better have that history paper written for me in a few weeks, skeleton. Or what? Or else. <laughs> Let's go. Look, here she comes. Good. Time for a little payback after I've had salt sugar break. Oh! Oh my gosh, <laughs> Sophie, are you okay? <laughs> oh. Noah, Sophie! Principal's office now! do you think we're in? In my experience, probably a day suspension. Suspension? If I'm gonna get into Harvard and cure cancer one day, I can't get suspended. Ugh, why do I have to be stuck with the world's worst stepbrother? You think I want this? This isn't an ideal arrangement for me either, you know? If only there was a way to go back in time and stop our parents from ever meeting, then none of this would have happened. Or change the future. If only. Wait a second. If we can get them to break up, we never have to deal with each other again. I can live my life, and you can go back to whatever pathetic existence you had before me. It's perfect. Pathetic? You're the one who stays in on Saturday nights to watch documentaries. What exactly did she have in mind? Well, I'm clearly the brains, but your pranking abilities aren't without merit, so I think we need to do what's necessary. Join forces. You want us to work together? Trust me, the last thing I want to do is work with you. But we need to combine our powers for the greater good before it's too late and we're stuck as siblings forever. That's... Evil. You're right, we probably shouldn't. No, I was going to say brilliant. I like where your head's at, Skelton. You have a deal. Principal Owens decided to let you two off with a warning and leave your punishment up to us. Since you two can't seem to get along, guess what? You're both grounded for the weekend. What? What a great idea. We were just saying how much we wanted to spend more time together. Right, Noah? Oh, yeah, right. I think we should go home and begin our punishment as soon as possible. Shall we? <sighs> there are three standard pillars in any relationship. First, communication. The second, commitment. And of course, most importantly, trust. How do you even know all of this? The Bachelor, duh. From an anthropological point of view, it's a fascinating study on human relationships to understand the fundamental qualities that create successful romantic pairings. <laughs> Nerd alert! My point is, we break up each of these things in the relationship, 
And voila, we have ourselves two single parents. Just not sure how we're gonna do each one. Easy. We take advantage of strategic opportunities that naturally present themselves. Tactical dispositions. Chapter four, The Art of War. You read a book. <sighs> Only that one for pranking purposes. You need some help. Well, anyway, let the games begin. Uh-huh. I'm confirming the appointment for the cake tasting next Tuesday at one. I'm telling my fiance now. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we're excited too. We got engaged a couple weeks ago. But now you really think that the Bills have a shot? I really like Brady and the Bucks to go back over them. Well, I'm not a betting man, but if I had to pick, I would uh, probably go with the Rams to take it home again. Yeah, Rams are going to be tough. Everybody's coming back, so... Maybe the Niners? The Niners were right there on the doorstep. It wasn't for the Rams. See what Garoppolo can do if he even comes back. Thanks. I'm sure he'll be here any second. I don't know what you're talking about. You never told me about a cake tasting. Ugh, you never remember the things that are important to me. You're so absent-minded. I remember the things that matter, baby. I do. I do. What do you mean you don't have the wedding band anymore? I paid for it, I bought it. I'm sorry, sir, but someone else purchased it. It says right here in our system, you canceled it. That's not right, I did not. I didn't. Thank you, thanks so much. How could you let this slip through your fingers? It's like you don't even care we're getting married. Of course I do. There must have been some kind of a mix-up. Look, I can get you another wedding band, I promise. Maybe this wouldn't have happened if you hadn't waited until the last possible minute. I don't know how I'm supposed to believe that you're in this relationship and committed if, if you can't even wear a ring. Uh, I swear, I don't know how that got there. Yeah, sure. Sweetheart. I would never do anything to jeopardize our relationship. You know me. No, Hugh. I feel like I barely know you at all anymore. At least try to come up with a believable excuse if you're gonna lie to me. I am not lying. Then explain why some other woman's lipstick is all over the shirt collar. I told you, I don't know. Maybe I brushed up against something. Or someone. I would never do that. Come on, Diana. Just look at me. I'm asking you to trust me. Please. After this? I can't. I think you know I should probably go. I can't do this anymore. I can't be with someone who doesn't communicate or commit. Someone I can't trust. I'm so 
sorry, but the wedding is off. Diana, please, don't. Mission accomplished. Guess so. Uh, go see my mom. Yeah, I should probably go check on my dad. It was a pleasure doing business. Likewise. C-minus on a science test. What did you get? Actually, I got it. No, you didn't. Come on, dude. I'm not that dumb. <sighs> Who are you and what did you do to my best friend? I did it to show Sophie and prove her wrong that I can get an A if I try. Not that it matters now, I guess. Speak of the devil. <laughs> are you still up for that water fight after school? Always. <laughs> Catch you after school? See ya. See ya. Hey, nerd, you write that history paper for me? Yeah, I have it right here. Good, now I need you to do my math homework, too. No, now you guys are taking it too far. You don't have a choice. Otherwise, I'm gonna... Oh, oh my God, get out of here! Wait, your whole outfit. Are you serious? Well, thanks. You shouldn't be writing essays for punks like Casey. You're too cool for that. I appreciate you saying that, but don't worry. I made sure she'll learn the hard way. The essay was supposed to be about the Civil War. I wrote about the Civil Wars. The music duo? Mrs. Bundy and is in for a big surprise when she reads that paper. You didn't think you were the only one that could pull off a prank, did you? The student has surpassed the master. How have you been? Well, not to brag or anything, but I got an A on my science exam. You mean you actually cracked open a book? What can I say? I learned from the best. Okay, I need to say something and you're not gonna like it. I think we might have made a mistake. I know this was the plan all along, but my mom is miserable. Honestly, I'm glad you said something. My dad is a total wreck. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing if we were step-siblings. As long as you promise, no more ambushes. Fine, but you can't just put on documentaries. You get to watch what I want to watch, too. <laughs> what? This whole time, when we were trying to destroy the pillars of their relationship, we ended up building our own. Communication, commitment, and trust. And we just built the fourth and final pillar, compromise. Wait a second, there's a fourth pillar? Of course. You didn't actually think I was gonna reveal everything I know, did you? I still think trust needs a little work. <laughs> How do you wanna fix this? You were right. Ice cream was just what we needed. Hey look, there's Noah. Oh shoot, I wasn't expecting to run into him again so soon. Uh, does my hair look okay? Dave, it's so nice to see you. 
Um, he, you guys must have had the same idea we had. Sort of. I might have told no where we'd be. What? Why would you do that? Well, because it turns out our kids have a lot more in common than we thought. Uh, I don't understand. We conspired to break you guys up. You two did what? The cake tasting, the ring, the lipstick on the shirt collar. All us. No and I didn't want to be stuck together for the rest of our lives, so we thought it would be better off if you guys weren't together. And that's when I came up with the plan. If you were so against us being together, why are you telling us this now? Because you being happy is way more important. Besides, no, it's not that bad. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Well, how about... Yes. What do you say, Diana? Give this one more shot, but with everybody on board this time? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> So you know, you both are in so much trouble. Oh, you could say that again. She started it, did not, not did she? <laughs> Come on. Let's go get some more ice cream, guys. Come on. Oh! No TV, no phones, and no iPads for a month. <sighs> this better have been worth it. It will be. Would you like some water? Oh, sure. That's so nice of you. Thanks, Noah. Noah! <laughs> oh, come on. It was a joke. <gasps> Whatever happened to Lucy? No, sheesh. Say hello to my little friend. Holy! <gasps> Never. Mess with the queen. Mom! So you see, your honor, I should be granted full custody of my daughter. My ex-husband, Rob, is an addict. He does nothing but lay around all day, and he's just a downright deadbeat father. That's not true, Genesis. I've always been a good father to Cameron. Well, she also said that you're addicted to pills and that you lay around all day. Is that true? He can't even deny it, Your Honor. I wasn't always like this, Your Honor. Last year, I was running my own business. I was supporting my family. It seemed like everything was perfect. But then one day, everything changed. You see, I can't see you, Dad. Uh, you can't? Here. Now you're way too close. Sorry, I'm just not very good at this technology stuff. It's okay. I gotta get to school anyway. Love you. Love you too, sweetheart. Can't wait to see you later. Bye. Hey, Mike. Hey, Ben. Hey, boss. Hey, we need your help with something. Yeah, what's going on? Side note. Let's, uh, let's put a double top plate here and add a cron on top. It'll give more stability to everything. Oh, yeah, you're right. Engineers should have caught that. Mm -hmm. uh, but then again, you're always catching the engineer's mistakes. <laughs> well, that's what I originally wanted to be, but everything became so computerized, you know? Like... No, well, we'll go ahead and add some beams to that. Uh, did you want me to go ahead and uh, build a change order to the client? Nah, that's all right, Ben. I'll just take care of the cost. Okay. I don't like billing my clients extra. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so yeah, what's the issue? Uh, well, the workers don't have enough. <laughs> whoa, whoa, careful, careful. Sorry. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, so the workers, we don't have enough flooring for the main entrance, so yeah. we might need to go ahead and add more floor. Sorry, boss. You guys all right? <sighs> come on, here. No, you have a bad back. Let me help. Oh, uh, come on, Mike. I'm old, but I'm not that old. <laughs> all right. Ow! Are you all right? Oh. Oh. <sighs> you really shouldn't be lifting anything. It could have been a lot worse. I understand. So, do you think I could be back at work tomorrow? Well, we're in the middle of this big project and... Tomorrow? Yeah. Rob, I really don't think you're taking this seriously enough. I mean, you need to be resting for a few weeks. 
maybe longer, and definitely not at a construction site. But if he's not working, how is he supposed to be making money? What's more important, money or your health? Uh-huh. I'm sure there's something I can do to get back out there. I mean, I could prescribe painkillers, but I really don't recommend that because a lot of people become addicted. He'll take them. What? All right. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back with your prescription. Mm-hmm. He's a doctor. Genesis, you know I hate taking pills. One of my uncles became addicted to them and his whole life just went downhill. What choice do we have? Downgrade our lifestyle? That is not happening. I want this one. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I gotta take a look at these drawings again, Ben. I have a feeling this engineer. Oh, God. Here, sit it down, sit it down. Whoa, oh. what are you doing? You know you're not supposed to be lifting anything. Why didn't you stop him? Ah, uh, it's just a spasm. I'll be all right. Whew. All right, come on, let's try again. No, no, I am not gonna let oh. you. Oh, God. I told you. You all right? Uh, yeah. Hey, give me a sec, okay? Oh, God. Oh, I don't know, man. I... Oh. Well, what are those? They're pain pills, but I haven't started taking them yet. And this is a good way to find out if they really work or not. I've seen a lot of people ruin their lives with those. Maybe just start with half. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. You're right. That's why you're my right-hand man. Of course. <laughs> well, why don't you go home, get a little rest. I'll take over from here. Appreciate it, man. Ben, we'll see you later. Mm. Oh. Dang. Yeah. Mom, I'm hungry. Can you make me something? Can't you see I'm busy? I ordered Uber Eats. It should be in soon. <clears throat> Dad, I missed you! Oh, I missed you too, sweetie. Oh, oh, careful with my back, remember? Oops. Sorry, Dad. It's okay, honey. Oh, whoa, whoa, <laughs> what is this? A new project. I ordered a new TV for our bedroom so you can put the existing one in Cam's room. But he said his back hurts. It's fine, it's not that heavy. It's all right, I'll try after dinner. I'm gonna go up and take a hot shower, see if that helps me. No, the new season of The Real Housewives starts tonight and I don't wanna miss it. Do it now. It's not a good idea, Dad. You should rest. Shush! Cameron! Have you been taking your painkillers? Yeah, I took half of one a couple hours ago. Half? Well, that's your problem. You need to take a whole one or two, and you'll be fine. Oh, come on. If the delivery men can bring it in here, you surely can bring it up to our bedroom. These pills aren't exactly instant, Genesis. You know, maybe you should try helping me. Come on. <laughs> and risk smearing my nail polish? Not a chance. I'll help you, Dad. Thank you, sweetie. All right, here, let's just slide it that way. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're gonna scratch the floor. Put a towel under it or a blanket. Uh, you're gonna use that one? Okay, fine, just get it done. All right, honey. Okay, sweetie, I'm gonna lift it and then you can slide the blanket underneath, okay? One. Ah! Dad, are you okay? Oh, God. Oh, don't be such a drama queen. Honey, give me a pack of ice. Ah! So you see, Your Honor, after I hurt my back again, I had no choice but to stay home. And then everything just went downhill. I lost my business. I lost my income. And then I just became addicted to pain pills. But I promise you, Your Honor, I am not a bad father. I love my family with all my heart, Your Honor. 
I'm sorry you had to go through all that, Mr. Gutierrez. But the purpose of this hearing is to determine if you're fit to take care of your daughter. So let me ask you, are you still on the pills? <laughs> and you have no income? My disability. <laughs> A few hundred measly dollars, like that does anything, Your Honor. Well, it's not like you have a job either. No, but I'm with someone who makes just as much money as you used to, if not more. You met someone? Well, you're dating someone else? <clears throat> okay. While I do have great sympathy for you, Mr. Gutierrez, with you being addicted to pills, and you're not having a job. I just don't see how you'll be able to provide for Cameron. That's why I'm granting full custody of your daughter, Cameron, to Genesis Garcia. Yes. What? Yes. No, please don't take my baby away from me, Your Honor. I promise I'll do anything. Since Miss Garcia will have full custody, I am gonna allow her to stay in the home and you will have to pay her half of your disability income. We'll see where we are in a year, and we can revisit. No, Daddy! I don't want to be without you. Come on, Cameron. Let's go home. Come on. Rob, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you. <clears throat> you can stay here as long as you need. <sighs> Thanks, Mike. <sighs> You're the only person I have left. My wife's left me. I lost my daughter. Even my employees are gone. <sighs> Poor guys, man. <sighs> They're probably all still out there looking for work. Um, what? Okay. I didn't want to tell you this, but Ben has started his own company, and he took all of your employees with him. No. <laughs> Not just that. Uh, he also took all of your clients. What? Oh. That double-crosser. How can he do that to me? You know, I taught him everything he knows. That's it, man. My life's over. Just everything's over. Whoa, four? Isn't the max that you're supposed to take two? I need this, man. I'm in too much pain. Are you taking these pills because of the pain in your back or because of the pain in your heart? It's so hard to see you like this right now, Rob. You do not need to make it worse. Give me those pills. Come on. You can get over this. It's not too late. Your life is not over. Well, it feels like it is. Things were bad enough. And now, Ben? This feels like a, uh, like a knockout punch. Well, it's a good thing you don't lose when you get knocked down. You lose when you don't get up. And right now, my friend, you are not staying down. And what am I supposed to do? I can't start another construction company with my back. There's no way, man. You said you always wanted to be an engineer. Maybe you can start that. I can't do technology. I don't know how to use a computer. Yeah, well, lucky for you, your right-hand man does. I will teach you everything you need to know. Whatever it takes, we are going to get you back on your feet. But it starts here. Give me those pills.
From that moment forward, Rob decides to turn his life around. He starts learning how to use a computer. He's slow at first, but Mike encourages him to keep going. His addiction to pills isn't easy to overcome. At times, he almost relapses, but remembering Mike's words, he stays strong and makes the right decision. Over time, he finally gets the hang of how to use technology. He's even able to do engineering drawings on his own. Soon, he's back on his feet and starts meeting with all the clients he used to have. He not only offers engineering services, but also construction services with his new business partner, Mike. The clients are thrilled to have them back. Life starts to turn around for Rob. Everything is falling into place again, except for one thing. I must say, Mr. Gutierrez, I'm impressed. Seems like you've really turned your life around. Yes, Your Honor, I have. I have started an even bigger company with my new partner. My health is back to normal, and I'm very proud to say that I haven't taken a single pill in over a year. That's incredible. You know, the last time I saw you, you looked so knocked down. May I ask what changed? Well, as a good friend reminded me, you don't lose when you get knocked down. You lose when you don't get up. And while your honor, I had to learn to get myself back up again. And the only thing missing in my life right now, Your Honor, is my baby girl. That's all I need. Now, I'm not trying to take her away from her mom. But if I can get 50-50, Your Honor, that would mean the world to me. Can I say something, Your Honor? I am so sorry how things ended, Rob. I really miss how it used to be. And I was thinking, if you're open to it, if we can try again. <laughs> what about your boyfriend? Oh, he is no longer in the pit. Genesis, please. Don't do this. Things are starting to turn around for me. I promise. Just don't leave me. Wait, you've been dating my ex-employee, Ben? Wow. I told you not to come here. We are finished. There is nothing you can do about that. But I lost my business, my workers. I can't lose you too. That is why you lost me. Now leave. You're ruining this for me. Leave. Can you take care of this, please? Well, Mr. Gutierrez, would you be interested in a reconciliation? Absolutely not, Your Honor. You know, I don't usually do this, but Cameron, you seem like a very smart young girl. Do you have a preference as to who you would want to stay with? My dad. Very well. I hereby grant Mr. Gutierrez full custody. Ms. Garcia, you will now be responsible for paying him child support. Case dismissed. Your Honor, I, I missed you so much. I missed you too, sweetie. I'm not hurting you, am I? <laughs> no, sweetheart. There's no more pain. This is ridiculous. I am not paying you one dime. Well, that's just fine. Because everything I need is right here. It's ridiculous. <laughs> should anyone present know of any reason why this couple should not be joined in holy matrimony, speak now 
or forever hold your peace. I object. Max, what are you doing? I'm not gonna let you take my mom away from me. What? Oh my gosh, I am so sorry, Mom. I, I did not mean to. Uh Why would you do this to me? Max! 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 But I object! Huh? Uh, sorry. What's happening? What do you think? I hate it. What's going on with you? First you say no to giving a speech at the wedding, and now you say you hate every dress. Do you really not like the dress? Or do you not want me to get married? That one's my favorite one so far. Thanks, Sam. What do you think? Why are you making this so hard on Mom? Um, isn't it obvious? I don't want her getting married. Why not? I think Terrence is pretty cool. Yeah, he's pretty cool. All he's gonna do is move into our house, completely take over our mom's life. She won't have any time for her kids anymore. Terrence is awesome. Mom wouldn't let that happen. Or would she? I need to find a way to stop this wedding. You look absolutely beautiful, sweetheart. <laughs> Are you sure this is the dress? Yes. I want to make sure that every detail is perfect. If anything were to go wrong, I would be devastated. I'm not sure I would even want to go through with the wedding. Sammy, my man, I think I've got a plan. We just need to find something that I don't like the sound of that. I'll take it. Are you saying yes to the dress? Yes! Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, yes! Wait, Mom, what about this one? <gasps> oh, 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 Max! I'm so sorry! <gasps> oh, it's God. ruined! I can't wear it like this now! No, no, you can't wear it like that anymore! Oh, yeah, don't worry! We scotch guard all of our dresses. Really? <laughs> oh. Look! Thank goodness! <gasps> because we don't have a ton of time before the wedding. Max, aren't you glad it came out? Yeah, aren't we lucky? Here, I'll help you out of your dress and then we can get you checked out up front. Great, right. thank you so Great. much. You did that on purpose. Great observation, Einstein. You should just stop. Your plan isn't gonna work. Just wait until the wedding, little bro. Just wait until the wedding. Whatever you've got planned, Max, don't do it. Today is really important to Mom. Okay, so what you're saying is that you really want some new guy living in our house and trying to be our dad. I mean, not really, but... Then be quiet. I'm so sorry. I have no idea what happened. It's okay. Um. I told you this wasn't going to work. Please. You really think that was it? I've got two words for you. Jenny Delgado. Delgado? Isn't that Terrence's crazy ex? He put a restraining order on. Should anyone present know of any reason why this couple should not be joined in holy matrimony? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Very well, since we have no objections, I object. Uh, Jenny, what are you doing here? I can't let you go through with this. I know you're still in love with me. In love? <laughs> what are you talking about? Let's just say 
I have gone through a lot in order to be here on time to stop this. <laughs> you have no idea what I'd do for you, Tear Bear. I just don't want you to give up on us. We're meant to be together, just like you said. Terrence, what is she talking about? I have no idea. Are you kidding me? Stop lying. You're making me look insane. If you don't tell her the truth right now, I am never going to be with you again. Uh, Jenny, I'm marrying someone else literally right now. I don't want to be with you. Wait, the truth about what? This. Jenny, I'm still in love with you. I don't think I can go through with the wedding. Please tell me it's not too late for us. Terrence, what is this? I didn't write that. That must have been someone else. Oh, it's just some other Terrence Parker who reached out to your ex to confess his love to her? I know what this looks like, okay? Someone else must have hacked into my account or something. But, babe, I will never do anything to hurt you. You have to believe me. You're my everything. That is not what you said in your email. Wait a minute. That's not even my email. What? This is my email. It's off by one letter. Mine has two R's. I don't understand. So you didn't send this email, and you're not in love with me? No. No! No, 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 no! You are going to regret this. You have to oh love me. Goodness. You need to love me, Terrence. Ah, uh, sorry about that. <clears throat> uh, I hope you still want to marry me. Yeah, I still want to marry you. <laughs> I can't believe you went that far. Just give it up already. Not a chance. It's time to take it up a notch. Jane, do you know, when I first met Terence, I could have sworn I was meeting the greatest man I'd ever know. But you proved me wrong. <laughs> because the greatest man I've ever met is the version of Terence that you introduced me to. You complete one another. You bring out the best in each other. I suppose it's true what they say, you know, that... <laughs> you know what, I, I, I suppose it is true what they say when... Okay, just to be clear, that's not me. <laughs> that is, uh... <laughs> you know what, let's just... Cut the speech and let's get straight to the pictures, right? Okay. <laughs> Who's all excited for a slideshow, huh? Let's wait for a slideshow. 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 <laughs> oh, I remember when we went on that date. That feels like yesterday. <laughs> we had so much fun that day. We did. Why would you use that photo? I hate that photo. I told you to delete that months ago. That wasn't me. <gasps> Who was that? What on earth? That is a guy I dated a couple years ago. I don't know why that is in there. What? Perfect, Terrence. Exactly what I want to see on my wedding day. No, I... Just stop the slideshow. Start the music, please. Babe, I, I, I promise, I don't know what happened to the slideshow. Whatever. Max, why 
Why are you on the floor? I'm... I, I tripped. O on what? I mean, I, I fell after I uh, stepped on my shoelaces. Okay. I, I just forgot to tie them tight enough. But, but I'm fine now, yeah. <laughs> Thanks! You won't believe what I just did. Hey, Max. Can I talk to you? Oh, crap. Yeah, what up? Cool. Ah, <clears throat> uh, I wanted to ask you for some advice. My advice? Yeah. On um, what? Are you getting cold feet? Do you miss Jenny? Are you trying to cancel? Because if you are, came to the right guy. No, no, not at all. I have no doubt in my mind that I want to be with your mom. Still hope that she still wants to be with me after that slideshow incident. Anyway, I was thinking uh, it'd be funny to put a little whipped cream on her nose during the cake cutting. Just wanted your opinion, though. Do you think she'd be okay with that? Well, I actually, that. yes, he should, Sam. He should. Yes, you should. Definitely do it. Right, Sam? Right. That's a great idea. You should do it. Okay. Uh, thanks, Max. Actually, you know what you should do? Smash her entire face into that cake. Oh, no, no. She is so beautiful. I hate to get anything on her dress, and I don't want to ruin her makeup. No, 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 no. Do not worry about that. Trust me. She used to show us videos of people getting cake smashed into their faces all the time. Seriously, nonstop. It was kind of annoying, but also kind of funny. The point is, you should do it. She'll find it hilarious. Are you sure about that? 100%, eh? And if you're really trying to get back from that slideshow incident, you should definitely do it. All right, well, I'm trusting you on this one. All right, all right, everybody. It's time for the cake cutting. Will the Mr. and Mrs. please come to the front of the room? What were you trying to say earlier? What is this from? That. I'm so, so sorry. This, this has never happened before. It's okay. Accidents happen. At least we have half a cake. Mm -hmm. Here you go, Mr. Parker. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Are you trying to cut the cake? Actually, I have a better idea. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Why would you do that to me? I'm so sorry, babe. I thought you liked that. Why on earth do you think I would like that? No, because it, it was, I was just doing... No, everything has been a mess. The music, Jenny, the slideshow, and now this. I need a moment. Wait, Jane, let's talk about... There, there, sweetheart. Everything's gonna be okay. It's not, Mom. If so much is going wrong on the wedding day, maybe it's a sign to just call it quits. No. Ever since the boy's dad passed, I knew I should just focus on being a mom and stay away from relationships. But sweetheart, you need to allow yourself to move on. You deserve to be happy too. I'm not worried about my happiness anymore. I just want my kids to be happy. And I know Max isn't. He has made it clear by not wanting to give a speech at the wedding and hating every wedding dress. I should have canceled the wedding then. It was wrong for me to be so selfish and make this about me. But are you sure about this? I just don't want you to regret letting Terrence go. It's okay, Mom. 
I'll regret more hurting my kids. I just have to tell Terrence now. Okay. Hello? For all of you who don't know me, my name is Max. I am Jane's oldest son, which in a way makes me the man of the house. So, so I got a little intimidated when Terrence came around because, you see, after my dad passed, I spent a lot of time hurting and missing him. But I forgot, I forgot to realize that my mom was also really hurt and missing him because she was always being so strong for my little brother Sam and I. That's the thing about her. She's always, always putting other people above herself and always being strong even when she doesn't have to be. And I guess I just got a little scared when Garrett's came around because with another man in her life, I thought she'd stop putting me first. But the truth is, Terrence, you're exactly what my mom needs. Because for the first time since my dad's passed, there's someone in her life to be strong for her and someone who makes her laugh and, and smile in a way I haven't seen her do in a very long time. I can tell that you really love her same way me and my little brother love her. So I want to thank you for that. Because now I realize that seeing my mom happy is the most important thing in the world to me. So I'm extremely excited to call you my dad. Hopefully I can be half the man you are someday. So let's raise a toast to the happy couple. I can't actually drink that. <laughs> hey, DJ, drop a beat. Sweetheart, did you really mean what you said? Mom, mom, I meant it, okay? So let's just, let's just spend the rest of the night having fun and dancing and enjoying the party, okay? Yes. yes. Come on. <laughs> Honey Bunch, please don't do this. Come on, you know we're meant to be together. Hey, Jenny Delgado, take that. <laughs> You're early. Yeah, my boss let me off since I finished all my work. It's, uh, is Kylie ready? Where's my child support, Brian? Yeah. Here's a hundred. Well, it's almost. It's ninety-eight dollars. But I do get paid on Friday, and I'll give you the two hundred fifty left when I pick up Kylie for the weekend. Um, does that work? You're supposed to have it today, and once again, you don't. I'm sorry. It's only three more days. No payment, no play date. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Come on, Trish. You know I promised to take her to the comic book shop tonight. Plus, I gave you my last hundred dollars. I'm trying here. 98? Clearly not hard enough. I guess you'll just have to wait till Friday. You can't be. Who's at the door? Is Dad here? Oh, um. No, I'm sorry, honey. That wasn't him. Oh, do you know when he is coming? I mean, you know your father. He might not even make it. But I wanted to go to the comic book store. I'm sorry, honey. I'll take you next week. Yeah. OK. All right, sweetie, before we go to my place, let me give you a gift, OK? But my birthday's not until Sunday. You can just give it to me at my party. Oh, uh, I'm about that. He's not invited, honey. If he wants to throw a party for you, he can. But this is the party I'm throwing for you. Oh. I'm not having one at your house too, Dad? Not a party, no. But because I wanted to do something else fun instead. Can we go to Universal Studios, please? 
I was thinking maybe we can hit up the beach or go to the park. Cheapskate. The beach sounds fun. I don't want her coming home all sandy. Make sure she takes a shower, has clean clothes on, and is at my house before two. 2 p.m. works for me. Got it. Uh, let's open your gift. Is this a vintage Wonder Woman comic book? Yeah. I know how much you love Wonder Woman, and I figure I help you build up your collection. I love it. Thanks. Um, Kylie, why don't you go wash your hands before we go? Uh, but I want to read my comic book. Come on, Kaylee. Thank you. This looks expensive. Yeah, I know. I put in a lot of overtime. Okay, so then where's the rest of my money? No. Oh, got it right here. I didn't order anything. Your daughter did. Our daughter. And you ordered something, too. Now I'm short $40, but when I pick up Kylie on Sunday, I'll have the rest. Sunday's too late, Brian. I told you I needed it by today in full. If we didn't have any food, I, I would have I would have had it all. So you just expect your daughter to starve? No. Of course I'm going to feed her. I have food at home. What kind of father do you think I am? I mean, obviously not a good one. And you're a terrible ex-husband. You know what, actually, forget about Kylie going with you. She's coming home with me. No, no, it's, it's my weekend with her, and, and we plan to go to the beach. Kylie, grab her comic. Let's go, please. What, well, Bryce? I was going with Dad. I'm really sorry, baby, but we gotta go. Please, just please don't do this. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Do you need change? Yeah, yeah, I do. I'm really sorry, baby. I'll make it up to you. It's just sometimes adults. Trish! Are... Trish. No. Please, come on. Don't do this to me, and don't do this to her. Don't try to blame this on me, Brian. You do this to yourself. Over a measly $40? Here, you can take this with you, too. I'm not going to let you take her away from me. What are you going to do? Call the cops? Go ahead. I'll just tell the courts that you missed another child support payment. One more missed payment, you go to jail. I'm, I'm trying my best right now. That can't like, be true. Oh my gosh, look, you know, I don't make much, but I'm doing overtime. And I'm giving you every dime that I have, all the while trying to keep things afloat. And my phone is off, okay? And I barely pay my rent just to get you the money. Well, I guess you're going to have to choose between your rent and your child. Are you serious right now? Mm -hmm. If I don't pay my rent, you have nowhere else to sleep. That's exactly why I want full custody. You're not making any sense right now, Trish. If you want to hurt me, that's fine. But the only person you hurt right now is our daughter. Well, I guess we'll just have to figure that out in court. Don't follow me. I got you one more gift. Universal Studio tickets. Thanks. Well, aren't you excited? You've been talking about going for months. Yeah, I am. Thanks. I think it's time for cake, you guys. Why don't you get in line? Yeah, okay. okay. All right, cool. <laughs> hey, I'll be right back. Okay. Looks like someone's got the birthday blues. Yeah. Thanks to her father, if you want to call him that. Brian didn't want to come? Oh, no. He would have loved to be here. 
but he never pays his child support and I just, I can't anymore. I wish Brian was more like your ex-husband, Jason. If you weren't my best friend, I'd have no idea you guys were divorced. You think Jason pays child support on time? What are you talking about? I'm barely lucky to get anything at all. Are you serious? Yeah. Why do you let him spend so much time with Carla? It's not about me. You see, when Jason and I first broke up, he only paid child support in full for the first few months. But then eventually, the payments either started coming in short or not at all. I wasn't happy. So I thought stopping Jason from seeing Carla would be a good way to punish him. But then I realized the only person I was punishing was our daughter. Once I realized that, I started letting Carla see her dad again. It's hard at times, but it's worth it to see that smile on my daughter's face. So you see, that's why I still let Jason come around all the time. Because separation with kids involved is not about me. It's about we. Thanks, Shannon. Yeah. <laughs> Could you give me a sec? Oh my gosh, of course. Thank you. The number you dialed is not in service. I know I still owe you the $40, but I'm going to give it to you as soon as I can. That's not why I'm here. Oh. Okay. I need to apologize. I've been awful to you. You've been really trying, and... I need to be more grateful instead of punishing you by keeping you away from Kylie. I don't know where this is coming from, but thank you. And I know it can be frustrating dealing with me and, and my struggles, but I promise you I'll try to be better. You're doing great. Thanks. Uh, so, how's Kylie's party going? Um, it's going. But it's just missing one thing. What's that? Her father. I was wondering if you could get out of here. Would you come? We haven't cut the cake yet, and I know Kylie needs you there. Really? Uh, absolutely, um. Just let me just get the bags and. Here, let me help you. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Kylie. Make a wish? Yes, and it already came true. <laughs> so what changed? Well, a very wise friend of mine made me realize it's not about me. It's about we. Hey, look what I got. Another Universal Studios ticket? Mm-hmm. I was thinking maybe it would be fun if your dad came. What do you think? Yes! <laughs> this is the best birthday ever! <laughs>